Have you ever wanted a real world example for why Stop Theming My App exists and why so many developers hate the idea of distribution shipping a custom theme? Well, Manjaro is here to provide you with a perfect example. So there is a Firefox theme called Firefox Gnome theme, which does exactly what it says on the tin. It makes Firefox look like a Gnome app. It's based on the modern Adwaita styling and I think it looks horrible. But I get why you might want to run this. You want to have, you know, everything look like it's in the same environment. But like most FOSS devs, this is being done as volunteer work. So if there's a bug in the theme, or maybe there's a change in Firefox that breaks the theme, the dev's not going to be instantly fixing it. And with the release of Firefox 108, it changed a bit of the UI, breaking a lot of the user Chrome CSS themes. But the dev is aware of how active he is, so for a very long time, there has been this disclaimer. Disclaimer, be aware that this theme might do things that are not supported by upstream Firefox. If you face an issue while using this theme, report it here first, or test if it is reproducible in vanilla Firefox. If you are a software distribution maintainer, please do not ship this changes by default to your users unless you made it extremely clear that they are using a modified version of the Firefox UI. So in comes Manjaro then. Manjaro has many additions, one of those additions being the GNOME version. Now in this version, you probably want things to look like GNOME apps. And initially this theme was being shipped out to all of their GNOME users. And then after that, they added a toggle into the installer so you can decide whether you want to go and use it. That toggle was on by default. So unless you knew the theme was there, it was gonna be installed automatically anyway. And I'm not exactly sure when they started shipping this theme, but judging by when people started complaining about issues with it, it seems like it was about nine or so months ago. The little menu here didn't align with the way it's supposed to look on Windows, it was shorter, things were slightly misaligned, and it just looked off. But even though there's been little oddities here and there, for the most part, it's been fine. That was until Firefox 108 shipped and broke a bunch of the user Chrome CSS themes and this happened. This is supposed to be the top bar where you search for stuff and as you can see, it's completely busted. And the theme dev had this to say on Mastodon. God, please, could Manjaro Gnome stop shipping my Gnome theme by default to their users? My theme got broken for a few days after the Firefox 108 release, and some Manjaro users got a broken UI without knowing why. This is the reason why I put an advice to the disclaimer we read in my repo half a year ago. And as we saw here, this is not the Manjaro subreddit, this is the Firefox subreddit. Some users thought this was an issue with Firefox. It had nothing to do with it. It was entirely based on Manjaro shipping an outdated theme. Not only is you using a broken theme not Firefox's problem, the Firefox subreddit is an unofficial subreddit, so this wouldn't have even been the correct place to report this problem to anyway, but that's a whole separate thing. And to my surprise, a Manjaro developer tried to get this problem fixed basically as soon as possible and opened up this discussion on the theme GitHub. Hi, I was notified of this post, that being the Mastodon post. I could not respond directly as my Mastodon account is still pending review. So I opened this issue since I have no other means of direct communication. Sorry for polluting your issue tracker. Manjaro shipped the upstream version of this theme since October we no longer ship the modified version. So they were actually using a fork of the theme as well, which makes it even better. The current implementation is that our greeter application, that being their installer, has a toggle that installs and uninstalls the theme using the script in this repository. If you find our using of your theme disagreeable, we can also not ship it. I admire your work, and despite any reputation Manjaro might have on the regard, we do try to respect the upstream developer's work and wishes. <laughs> I just had to laugh at that. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've inconvenienced you unduly with this. If you don't know why I laughed, 
just have a look back through my channel's history at all the times when Jaro ships something against the developer's wishes. The most recent one being shipping an unfinished Asahi Linux kernel, or you could have a look at something like Don't Ship It, made in direct response to Manjaro shipping things that are not ready to be shipped. But I'll give Manjaro its, I don't know, 10th chance and say that maybe they've gotten better. Now, as you may expect, an issue was made about this over on Manjano, the website that tracks every time Manjaro does something dumb. And over in the pull request, they were looking for some feedback from the developer from Manjaro who's trying to fix this problem. And they did actually respond and have this to say. I had not noticed the disclaimer in the repo about not shipping it before, but it was brought to my attention recently based on the request. It is no longer enabled by default in the next release, and the greeter app will have more information about the theme in the toggle. Which is a very intriguing response if you know anything about Mozilla's trademark and how protective they are of it. If you didn't know, Firefox obviously is open source. But when it comes to distributing Firefox, you can't just make modifications to it and still call it Firefox. So we go all the way down, down to the modified versions. Modified versions require prior written permission. The open source nature of Firefox and other Mozilla software allows you to freely download and modify the source code. However, if you make any changes to Firefox or other Mozilla software, you may not redistribute that product using any Mozilla trademark without Mozilla's prior written consent and typically a distribution agreement with Mozilla. For example, you may not distribute a modified form of Firefox and call it Firefox if most of this stuff doesn't really matter, but down the bottom here, installing themes other than those available in the most recent stable version of Firefox at Mozilla.org. So you cannot add themes that are not the default themes. And this theme here is not the default theme. But unlike Debian, where they had to rebrand their version of Firefox to IceCat way back in the past, they are getting around this in a amusing way that other distros are using as well. And I am not the first person to notice something weird here. Back when the theme was first added, this question was asked on the Manjaro forum. Question regarding Mozilla's branding for Firefox being used in Manjaro Gnome Edition. Basically goes on to explain the Mozilla distribution policy, how their trademark works, and then asks if they have permission to be seemingly blatantly violating the trademark, shipping a custom theme. And a member of the Manjaro team answers the question by completely ignoring the question, not understanding what's being asked. Two things you probably got wrong will clarify. Firefox package has nothing changed from Mozilla defaults. The Manjaro file is user lib Firefox distribution distribution INI that goes in line with the distribution policy from Mozilla. And this actually is completely true. The Firefox they are shipping here is just modifying the INI file. Everything else is, you know, it's just a regular Firefox package, not modified in any way. Secondly, the custom look in GNOME is a theme. Firefox GNOME theme Maya at the time was a fork of that other theme. That also does not alter in any way Firefox software, is optional and can be enabled or disabled at user level. It modifies the user Chrome CSS, this is modifying the theme, and according to Mozilla, is modifying the software in a way that violates their trademark. And then goes on to say something that has literally nothing to do with this whole problem. The custom CSS in GNOME edition of Manjaro is questionable. Says in response to that, we also provide our own kernels. Is that questionable too? The Linux kernel doesn't have this trademark guideline for how you're allowed to name them. So no, it has nothing to do with the question. So this is the 2000 IQ play to avoid the Mozilla trademark. Not a lawyer, if you get sued, don't blame me. You ship a vanilla version of Firefox, and then by default, you ship a theme. Technically, the theme is separate from Firefox. So you are shipping a vanilla version of Firefox, no issue there. But what the user is going to see is your modified version, which I'm sure if Mozilla wanted to do something about they probably could, but it seems like pretty bad PR to go after distros who, by all accounts, are doing everything by the books 
it seems kind of petty, and Mozilla isn't exactly in a position to make enemies of the only people who still use their browser. Now, the theme has been updated to work with Firefox 108, that theme has been shipped out to the users, and the problem is dealt with for people on Manjaro, at least temporarily. And it seems like the plan going forward is to disable it by default, and then let the users toggle it if they wish to. Also, they plan to relabel and make it more clear what's actually being done. Also, it wasn't clear that the way you update the theme is toggling it off and on again. That's what's going to cause an update to happen. Why they were doing it like that, I don't know. Don't ask me. But they're going to make it more clear how all of this stuff works in a way that it probably should have been from the start. But I have one thing to say to all the distros out there. It doesn't matter if you're Manjaro or anybody else out there. Stop shipping themes to users unless you make it explicitly clear that you and the theme developer are the ones who are going to be supporting this. The application developers should not be receiving any issues, any bug reports related to you not testing your theme properly and it being broken with certain applications. And considering that you can't test everything, it's much safer to just not ship a theme. But if you're an individual user, use whatever broken theme you want to. That's all on you. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you keep track of all the times Manjaro does something dumb? Do you use Manjaro? Do you even care that Manjaro exists? I would love to know. So if you like this video, remember to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, suddenly bearer pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me. And...